Welcome to Francis Quilts, the site dedicated to the wonderful art of quilting, with a few other fun things thrown in as well. If you like what you see here, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you can be notified of future videos. Hey guys, welcome back to Francis Quilts. Today I'm going to be doing a product review of an item that I picked up at the International Quilt Festival in Houston. It is a swivel mat produced by the company called Caterpillar. Now it's not Caterpillar as in the little fuzzy thing, but Caterpillar. It is a great mat. It has some, uh, some qualities that I love. I have been looking for a really good swivel mat and this has just ticked all of my boxes. So uh, let's go to the review and I'll show you how it works. Let me introduce you to the swivel mat from Caterpillar. It comes in two pieces. The first is this acrylic base, which has ball bearings in here that it spins on. You can see it spins very, very easily. The second is this cutting mat, which is uh, fairly thick and sits on top of it. By the way, the cutting mat can be replaced, so if you do a lot of trimming and feel like you need to change it at some point, it can be easily replaced. Now, the thing that I struggle with some of the other brands of swivel mats is this. They swivel, swivel, swivel wonderfully. You know, that's great. They're going around and around. That's perfect. But when I'm coming at something with my rotary cutter ready to cut, the last thing I want is for it to be doing this. I need it to be more secure because if I have this going on, there's a good chance I'm going to cut off a finger or even worse, I'm going to mess up a patch that I'm trying to trim. You know, we have to get our priorities straight. What I love about this mat is that it spins beautifully, which is what we want, but when we press down on it to make our cut, it's not gonna go anywhere. You can see I'm trying to move it back and forth and it really just is not moving at all. So that to me means that it's going to be more secure and safer uh, for me to make that cut. So let's try an example here. I'm cutting these down to a two and a half inch size. So I'm going to line up my ruler where I want my first cut to be and you can see it can spin, spin, spin. When I press down on my ruler, it's not going anywhere. I can make my cut. You know, I never have trouble with these points until I'm doing the video and then I can't cut them for anything. So now, leaving my ruler in place, I'm just gonna spin it. I'm gonna reposition my ruler where I need to make my second cut. Press down. Again, now it's not going to spin because I'm pressing down on it, and I can make my second cut. Nice and easy. Let's do another one. Position my ruler, easily spinning around so that I can get it where I want it to be. When I'm set, I press. It's not spinning. I can't make it move. Well, I can make it move, but you really have to work at it. I'm gonna make my cuts. Spin it, reposition my ruler, make my cut, and it's done. You can see how easily the swivel mat works. Um, when I finished videoing that segment, I went ahead and trimmed another 25 uh, two and a half inch squares. Took no time at all because it was just so, so simple to do. The mat is a little expensive. It's about $60 to purchase, but I really think that it is going to be a wonderful tool to have in my quilter's toolbox, and I'm excited to continue using it as I go forward. Thank you again for joining me. Remember, if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. We'll see you again soon. Remember, if you like what you've seen, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Please check out my website and daily blog at francisquilts.com and I can be found on Facebook and Instagram at Francis Quilts. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope to see you again soon.